How, how would you describe this offseason? Obviously, you had a huge life event. You came off a really dis disappointing Super Bowl. The company, your, your contract got reworked, got married. I mean, how, how do you put all that into, a, into perspective? Yeah, I mean, there's a, definitely a lot happened. One of the busier off seasons I had just, um, you know, still got to keep the main thing the main thing and, and stay focused on, you know, even though there's a lot of good things, you know, stay training, um, getting ready to go. And, um, you know, while it might look like a lot happened and it did, uh, I tried to keep it as consistent as possible as to the last off seasons that I've had. I know you had expressed interest in playing with Luke, and, and I know it didn't happen, but how cool was draft day for you and your family to see him go through that? It was awesome, man. Yeah, we were so fired up for him. Um, you know, he's he's inspired me in a lot of ways, so to see that kind of uh, dream of his come true in, in person was awesome. You said you're going to um, – Kyle was saying you're going to be – you and some other veterans will be on a schedule, and you weren't in the team stuff yesterday, but you were out there on plenty today. Did you feel like you hit the ground running today? Yeah, definitely. It was good to be back. Um, you know, I think it's probably smart just to – ease into things a little bit these first few days and then next week kind of get going. But I think it's important to get, you know, get my eyes right, get the timing right, um, just get more comfortable. You know, you have to you have to get these reps, so um, it's important. I know it was just, you know, just the first your, your first day out there, but did you feel the offense look pretty sharp? There? Yeah, I, I haven't seen the full tape yet. You know, we just the, obviously there's good and bad every single day during training camp and uh, I think the most important thing is just capitalize on the good things and fix the bad things. I think it was an OTA as Kyle was talking about, just how many touches you had last year, and particularly, you know, runs between the tackles, things like that, that maybe they could do a better job of limiting that. I, I mean, what's your perspective on that, potentially having fewer touches in those areas? Uh, for me, it's, per, you know, put my body, mind, and soul in the best position to play every snap, and then, you know, coaches got to be coaches, whatever – they think is best, but I know for me, I, I prepare to play every snap so that I'm ready to go. Christian, you got an extension during the offseason. How important was it for you to get that worked out before coming into training camp? Oh, really important, you know. Um, I think uh, anytime you can get that done before camp, it's great, but uh, that's the business side of things. You know, it's, it's the uh, bittersweet part of this league. Um, and so for me, you know, like I said, just taking it one day at a time, making sure that um, you know you continue to train, continue to put your body in the best shape possible, so that uh, when all that stuff is out of the way, you can hit the ground running. Um, Jack also went through kind of a renegotiation of his, but he wanted to make sure that he was a top-paid fullback. How does it make you feel to be the top-paid running back in the league? It means a lot. Yeah, no, it definitely means a lot. I think uh, you know the running back position has obviously been talked about a lot in the last few years about you know kind of guys being. Uh, unfairly paid and I think uh, you know just to continue to to up the number I think is important and um, you know it, it's a huge honor. Yeah I mean look I the, you know the business side of things as I said before is it's the tough part about playing in the NFL for me I, I stay out of um, everything really just kind of stay in my lane focus on me and doing whatever I can to get back but obviously, uh, no one's a bigger fan of Trent than me. How, how self-critical are you, are you after a season when you evaluate what you've done? I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. Offensive Player of the Year uh, had a real strong season. But what, when you look at it, what do you see that you want to get better at? Or how do you evaluate it? Oh, man, there's, and there's, there's a lot to get better at every year. I think there's, uh, you know, really, I, it's, it's not even a year or a week thing. It's just a day-by-day -day thing. And, um, you know... I think getting getting reps is so important because um, that's when you can really try to perfect your game. Uh, when you're out of it for a long time, you can miss those. And, and like I said, I think just training your eyes, um, getting the timing right, sequencing down is something that you got to do every day. So it's 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 more just every day approaching it as a constant evaluation. Uh, obviously, you're going to correct the mistakes from the year, but you know when you're training, you're correcting little things always here and there. Jordan Mason has looked pretty decent out there in terms of catching the ball and stuff. We haven't seen him do a lot of that stuff. Has that jumped out to you at all? Absolutely. Uh, he's, he's improved so much in the first time I've met him. Um, just the way he is in the meetings, the way he is out at practice, 
Uh, I think our whole running back room has such a good uh, good energy to it right now. You know, we're all pushing each other, making each other better, but also being there for each other. And it's a really fun room to be a part of because, um, you know, you want to talk about guys forcing you to be at your best. Every single one of those guys right now is are, are doing just that and makes it makes it fun to be a part of. To call him Mariano Rivera, has he become a more complete running back now? Mariano Rivera. <laughs> Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, when did I say that? Um, yeah, man, I think he, he, he looks way more complete than, than he has been. Um, he's always been able to do it. It's just being consistent with it. And I think you see now he's making things happen in the pass game and the run game that are just consistent with it. So um, yeah, I think he can pitch every inning now. <laughs> did some, some funky things with, you know, with pump motion and stuff like that, especially you. How much do you look at that stuff and, and maybe talk to Kyle about things you see over the off season and, and how to improve on that or how to expand it? Um, you know, for me, it's just being able to do it, you know, and I think continuing to rep it uh, no matter what position he's putting you in. Uh, he has reasons for every play he calls and he's much better, better at it than I am. So I kind of just let him do that. And uh, wherever he puts me, I just got to be able to run every route. How much, can, how much more benefit can you get from finally having a first full off season with Brock Purdy back there? Huge benefit, huge benefit. I think, uh, you know, I, I think obviously the reps are important. I think it's been so impressive to see what he can do without those reps. Um, but he looks great, he feels great. Uh, he, he's talking great. Um, just happy he's our quarterback. Appreciate you guys. Javon, would you say you're in better shape this year than you were last year? Uh, yeah, I think I'm um, mostly uh, way ahead than I was last year. So, uh, yeah, I do feel like that. Did you do anything in the off season to, to lose that weight? I don't think I really lost any weight. It's just uh, I just focus more on it. Uh, it. Just I mean, I kind of got a routine about how I did things, but uh, I just went a little harder this year. You, you had the hamstring towards the end of the season that sort of nagged. Do you feel like you, you put that to bed? Yeah, yeah, I think that was over um, basically um, during the Super Bowl. Is there a, the way you guys attempt play on defense, does it change much for you at all with uh, Sorensen as defensive coordinator or, is, or you're just, you know, your D linemen are so used to Kasurik that is it, is it pretty much the same thing that you've always done, that you did last year anyway? Yeah, we've mostly just doing the same things. Um, I think it might have changed up a little on the back end, but for us, it's just, uh, it's really been the same with Chris. What's been your impression of Malik Collins? I know it's going to be different play next to him than Armstead. What's been your view of him as a player? I mean, he's real explosive. Um, I kind of follow Malik. Uh, we the same draft class, so I kind of follow him his whole career, so I know he got a lot of tools in his toolbox when it comes to just disrupting plays and um, pass rushing. Like Eter Grossmatos also got into the backfield a lot today. What have you seen from him? Yeah, he can kind of play anywhere, everywhere, uh, just on the end and in the inside. So he's just real long and fast, and um, we just, you know, happy to have him because he, uh, he's like, I, I see him just making big plays for us this year. Jake Bose has talked about how the mindset has to change in this system where it's different just to get after the quarterback. How hard is it for a guy who hasn't played in the system to get adjusted to it? Uh, it be it, it definitely is difficult, but I think Chris just he just come come at us every day, so it kind of um, is real easy to adjust because I mean when you're hearing about it every day, you just <laughs> you just learn fast. Do you see like the like a, a progress from the guys that are new? Do you see that it's it does take a little bit of time to get to that stage. Definitely, just from me, from uh, this year to last year, I just know uh, it is hard playing in this system. But uh, basically, once you get it, you just kind of get it. How long did it take for you to feel like you were 100% up to speed? I mean, I still like I'm still, I ain't 100 yet. But uh, definitely later in the season, I felt like I understood what he was trying to tell me what to do um, and just kind of get out of all my old ways. and just buy into what he was trying to teach me. What if two full seasons where you made it all the way to the Super Bowl and played in the Super Bowl done to your body? I think so at the end of the season, um, but you know, the months off or just rehabbing and training and just kind of getting my body right, you really don't feel it around this time. 
Hey, Vaughn, how, how would you evaluate the year you had last year, and do you have goals for this year? I mean, it, was, it wasn't it was my best years, um, but definitely weren't some of my worst years. But definitely this year, I just want um, bigger things uh, as a team and as an individual player, just to be way better than I was last year. When you say it wasn't your best year, when you reflected, like what were the things that you think kind of held you back from, from being at that level? I mean, definitely uh, me getting hurt later in the season kind of slowed me down from um, being able to get them reps. And just, you know, I just uh, just didn't do uh, some of the things just later in the season than I usually do. So I feel like the injury really held me back um, and kept me down for the later part of the season. Here's a question. You'll uh, uh, ranking Super Bowl losses. Uh, but, I mean, of the last two, is there one that was like particularly painful? I know, I know they're both painful, right? But is there one that just like, oh, God? I mean, of course, the last one, because it's the second one in a row. So, I mean, the first one, I was just kind of happy to be there. Uh, but, of course, last year was kind of tough just being there the year before and just losing the next year was kind of tough. All good? All right, thank you. Thank you.